Hi, I'm Sue Zecco and I'm a certified master groomer with both National Dog Grooming Association of America and the International Professional Groomers. I've been grooming for about 38 years now and I've been in kind of every aspect of the grooming industry. I have a set of instructional grooming DVDs that I do with Jay Scruggs called Super Styling Sessions. I've done um, multiple competitions, contest judge, speaker, and I'm here today to tell you about some exciting new wall products. I'm here to introduce Wall's new lithium family of cordless clippers. And these clippers have the world's most advanced rechargeable battery innovation. We have the Motion Clipper, we have the Brevera, and we have the Figura. The Brevera comes in these three beautiful colors. The great thing about lithium is they have more power, more torque, more charge cycles, and no more memory effect compared to nickel metal hydride batteries. So this is the newest innovation in batteries. It gives you more of everything that you need. So now we have Carmen, and Carmen is one of my own um, Dreamcatcher poodles. Her registered name is Dreamcatcher is my little idol, and we call her baby girl, um, and I chose a white dog to demo this next new clipper from Wall. It's the Wall Pro Lithium Figura. It has a 90 minute run time, a 10 minute quick charge feature, no battery memory effect, and includes a five in one fine blade. And it's a cordless clipper. Um, it's got a great new design. It's beautifully balanced and very, very comfortable in your hand. So it's just the, the whole shape of it. These has like a, like a little grip type um, strips on it. So it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip out of my hand or anything, but just the way that it actually sits in your hand with the curve of the whole clipper is extremely comfortable. This clipper also has the five in one blade, which is fantastic because it goes from a nine to a 10, to a 15, to a 30, to a 40 blade. Now I chose a white poodle because typically your light colored dogs might have a little bit more sensitive skin. And with her, where I, because she is my dog and I know where she tends to get a little bit irritated, one of the beauty, beautiful things about this clipper, especially this blade, is that I can go close around the lips and if I want to back off a notch to the areas that tend to get a little bit more sensitive, I can do that without having to stop and change blades. And the, these blades also never get hot. So that's definitely a big plus. Now with her, um, because I, I try to make sure that I do her face often enough so she's not like extremely pink, um, I'm gonna do her on the 30 blade setting. And it's just a nice smooth cut. And there's, there's absolutely no vibration to this clipper at all, which I really love. And whenever you're working on any dog, especially where you're working around the face area, to, to not have the vibration is really a big deal because that's usually the parts that the dogs get a little bit nervous around their eyes, around their ears. So with this, I'm just gonna pull her lip back nice and tight. Um, these areas here that the light never really gets at are ten tend to be more sensitive than the muzzle and the and, um, underneath the eyes and the areas that do get a lot of light. So you can go a little bit closer where the skin is darker and then just back it off a notch or two if you need to in the areas that are more sensitive. She's just a good girl. She's 10 years old now, so she's been through this a time or two. But all of my puppies, I start off usually at five weeks old. I do their feet and face for the first time. And I always use the wall clippers because they're quiet, because you can almost hide it in your hand rather than coming at them with a big corded clipper. It's a lot nicer and less scary on the puppies when I use the little cordless trimmers.
Oh, look at that pretty face. Oops. These clippers are also fantastic for new groomers starting out. Because I know myself and everybody that I have ever trained, when they start off, they usually take about a minimum of 10 to 15 minutes per foot when they're shaving poodle feet. So back in the old day, we used a lot of coolants or we had multiple blades to keep changing so that we didn't let the blades get too hot. But with this clipper on my show trims, I can do the entire body trim and the feet and face without having to worry about this blade getting hot. So that is a great feature. It has a 90 minute run time and it takes about twice that to get a full charge on it. But one of the nice features about this clipper is it actually has um, a quick charge time. So if you kind of run out of some time, if you just give it as, much, as little as 10 minute quick charge, it'll give you an additional five minutes of cutting time. So that's also a nice feature if you need to just kind of finish up something quick. You don't have to wait 180 minutes for it to get a charge. You can get at least five minutes worth out of a 10 minute quick charge. Now again, I'm doing her feet on the, the 30 blade setting. In between, her, in between her toes, she tends to be a little bit more sensitive. So I could back off to a 15 to do the inside of the toe area. But if I want to get all those fine little hairs around the toenails, I can bump it up to a 40 blade and it gets all those fine little hairs. And one of the nice things with these clippers too is that they'll actually cut in reverse. So when you're trying to get all those fine hairs around the toes, you can actually use the clipper in this direction as well. And that kind of pushes the hair and cuts it at the same time. So that's a handy little feature when you're doing feet and you're trying to do them in a quick amount of time. But the wall clippers are so well balanced and so comfortable in your hand and so lightweight. This clipper is only 9.6 ounces. So that's another one of the features that makes it very easy to work around. And then the same thing, this clipper, if I want to do, come around and do her tail set. And normally I do the tail set with the same blade that I have used on her face. So I would do that on 30 setting, but underneath, um, around her rectum and all her private areas, her sanitary area, um, I, I don't want to go that close. I don't want her to be irritated. So then I can just, like I said, just bump it back a notch or two to do her very sensitive areas and not have to worry about her getting irritated or clipper burn. So I'm gonna back it off to a 10 to do the underside. And just like the underneath of the chin and under the ears, this area doesn't see a lot of light. trim in her belly area, keep her sanitary area nice and clean.